All right, guys, couple things. First of all, we're going to Ulta. I haven't been to Ulta in forever, but because we were talking so much last night on Instagram Live and everyone always asks me about like the Kylie skin stuff and also the lip liner that I like from her, um, I'm gonna go and see what they have at Ulta. Since you guys keep asking me and want to know, let's try some of this Kylie stuff. I'm glad that they have it in Ulta now because you know me and I'm not trying to buy things that I can't try first normally. Stuck in the door. All right, let's see what looks good. I'm actually kind of excited now. Not gonna lie. Okay, so these I definitely wanted to try because a lot of you, first of all, it looked like I would like them, but a lot of you guys said that you really like these products as well. They're like no tester left. But here's what we really came to kind of try out. I want to feel this Kylie skin stuff. What is this? But here are the swatches of the high gloss, but why are these two, see what they're doing here? Or they're all kind of doing it. Why are they separating like that? I put on that, I tried this moisturizer beforehand, and I'm wondering if that has something to do with it, but that's really weird to me. So I just tried the vanilla milk toner too, and actually that feels really good as well. I don't use a toner, so that might be something that I could be interested in. The moisturizer did feel really good. I'm just, you guys know my skin is sensitive, so I'm a little bit nervous about it. But it does feel good. I just spent like a lot of money on La Mer though, so I don't really feel like I should be buying this Kylie one. Let's see what else they have though. Oh, they've got the fragrance. Wanna smell it? Let's smell it. Oh, I like this one. This one smells actually really good. That does smell good. Like, how much could you really get in here, though? One fluid ounce. It's, like, not expensive, though, anyway, so I guess that's not too bad. But that does smell good. I like that. It's kind of got that different-ish smell. Like, you know how Britney Spears Curious, I told you, kind of has, like, a unique... It's, like, kind of like that. I don't hate this one. Because I'm not into that one. It's kind of like a vanilla musky type smell. Just upon initial smelling. This one's kind of candy-ish. I think the red one is probably my favorite. I'm gonna spray them right now and see though. All right, so I don't like the pink one. The pink one smells like fruity Christmas. Like it smells, it's got like a Christmassy smell, but also like a fruity smell. The red one I think is the most unique to me and like it smells the most like a regular perfume I would buy. But I'm gonna wear it around the store because I'm still not 100% sold on it. But they smell better than what I expected to be honest. Do they have her other perfumes here? It's nice that they have it in store though because I wouldn't just order blindly on the internet since I don't stand them, you know? What's this? Oh, the Ariana Grande thank you next. I heard this it's supposed to smell like coconuts. God, this packaging is so, this is for sure for kids. First of all, how could, I would say it's for kids, but how can you even hold it? Oh, it comes out. Does it come out? Bitch, I don't know. Let's spray this into the air and see what we think. All right, so now that this Kim Kardashian Kylie Jenner red one has settled a bit, now it kind of just smells like a regular celebrity fragrance. I'm not into it. I can't really smell this Ariana Grande one. I've got like no skin left, so hold on. Um, don't really know how I, how I feel about it, to be honest. It's kind of just, I'm never really impressed with celebrity fragrances normally. They're never really that, that different. The Ariana Grande Thank You Next almost smells a little bit like plasticky or Play-Doh-y a little bit on me right now. I'm gonna do a perfume video for you guys. I know a lot of you have been asking for that. I don't really like typical fragrances normally. I'll let you guys know all of the, the ones that I like because most people probably won't be wearing it and you guys will be probably the only one unless we're hanging out. Ooh, I've always wanted to try this. Is there a tester? Yes empty but let's see kind of smells like Barbie perfume a little bit that's cool I've always wanted to try their like setting spray thing because I like that kind of mist but I don't know I don't know if I like the scent they've got this here too I'm gonna take a look at some of this also someone recommended one of these this lip liner this nude 1.5. Right, so I don't even know why I tried these sticks because I actually don't highlight and contour with cream stuff. I just use bronzer and like powder highlight so 
I don't know, I just tried it out, don't like it on my skin. These eyeshadows, I like some of the colors, but I don't really ever need that many eyeshadows. Like I wish she had a quad or I could build my own quad, I'd like that. Some of them didn't swatch well. And then this one, I like some of the colors, like maybe one or two of the colors and it just, I can't justify buying the palette just for that. The highlighter looked okay, but um, I like that it's small. I just, the packaging doesn't feel good and also, I don't, the, the highlighter just wasn't unique to me. But I want to try these lip liners out. I need to find someone with a sharpener though because they are all used. So, like, I can't test it because there's not any whatever left. So I tried the lip liners and actually this nude 0.5 is the only one that I liked. But to be honest, I didn't love the formula. It was a little bit draggy. Um, and it wasn't the way she sharpened it either. It just felt kind of rough. It wasn't anything super crazy or wow or anything like that so I think I still like the Kylie Dolce K liner best back to this way we go overall I'm glad that I got to try things I'm not disappointed that I didn't find anything that I wanted to get because I wasn't planning on you know unless I was really wowed by something I wasn't planning on getting it anyway so it's all good but truthfully I wasn't really wowed by either of those glosses either it's a little bit difficult to get in there though because the testers that they have here don't reach to the bottom and they're all pretty much at the bottom so maybe I'm not getting like the best representation of it because I can hardly try it oh she's got a clear gloss too not that I need to be buying that but just yeah I wasn't like overly impressed not that I'm that surprised I think the thing that I liked the most that I tried is just the Kylie skin stuff to be honest just for reference this is the Dolce K lip liner I don't like the matte lipstick because it's so brown but the lip liner is probably my favorite lip liner that I use. It's showing up a little bit more brown, I think, on camera. This is my favorite concealer right now, by the way. I'm gonna do a full, like, favorites video at some point. I didn't mean to come in here and just show you all of the products that I like from other brands. <laughs> I want, I, you know what, I might get the Kylie Skin stuff. I'm gonna see what their return policy is, just in case I don't like it. But I think I might try it, fuck it. All right, well, the main product that I wanted to try, which was the toner, because it feels really good, is out and then I'm not gonna buy the moisturizer without the toner because I'm not a hundred percent sold on the moisturizer anyway but I was gonna buy it if I was gonna buy both so now I'm getting none of it honestly she said that she sees a lot of it getting returned so I guess I'm not even really that upset but apparently Ulta doesn't do samples the way Sephora does she was like we don't do it because there's a lot of gift with purchase but like it doesn't help you if a product is out of stock and you want to try it so Okay, I figured since I was here I'd stop by PetSmart. This is my dog's favorite time of year when they discount all of the pumpkin spice greenies. Look at what a good price that is compared to 20 bucks. We'll be getting a bunch of those. Alright guys, I'm gonna film this quick unboxing for you. Honestly, I found these on Instagram through a personal shopper and then I checked with the sales associate that I normally shop with. I would prefer to purchase through her versus through a personal shopper, not only because a personal shopper does charge you a bit of a fee, I just, I've never shopped through a personal shopper before, so I wasn't super comfortable. I would rather just get it from the girl that I normally shop with at Chanel. So apparently this style originally came out about two seasons ago, and it had sold out supposedly immediately as soon as it was released. And then I guess about a week after I had asked, they ended up coming in. And so she had messaged me and said like, hey, oddly enough, we got them in again, which I'm sure is how the personal shopper got them as well. Her store must have just got a little bit earlier. I already know that these are a little bit smaller than what I would normally want. I'll do a little close up of the skew because I know you guys normally like to track down what I show you. So that kind of gives it away a little, but it won't take away from how pretty they are. Look at these hoops. There's crystals only on one side. The back doesn't seem to have them, which is a little disappointing, but I'm gonna go ahead and try these on now and see what I think. I'm just making my coffee right now. I've got the greenies. I just gave the dogs one. Um, but I actually am vlogging all day today for Patreon. I might try and do a couple clips here and there for the regular vlog too, but I'm trying to do a daily vlog on there, which I don't normally do, but I just did an unboxing for that channel. And also, like I said, I don't know how long it will be because I don't normally daily vlog, but we're gonna give it a try. 
and see how my Patreon people like it. So if you don't see me that much today with today's uh, timestamp or whatever, it's because I was vlogging for Patreon today. Toshi, why do you sit like this? Why do you sit like that? How is that comfortable? Poor boy. By the way, I, I have had him checked out by the vet and said it's fine, but just I don't know why he does it. Huh, bear? Lady and bear. Oh, look at him. Look at him, man. All right, so I decided to drive all the way to Popeye's just so I can try this stupid sandwich, but look at the line. I don't think we're doing this today. I, I just, I just don't. This is insane. Where's the end of this line? Is it here? I think it's here. All right, so I've found the end of the line. There's already people lining up behind me, as you can see. So let's see how crazy this is. It is now, what time is it? It's 5.28 and I just got in line. All right, here's an update. I can at least see the Popeyes now. And then this is the line behind me. Truthfully, I should have come earlier, but I just, I didn't have time to, and it's Sunday, so, you know, people have off. I should have came during the week at like 2 p.m. or something, or 3 p.m., but I just, I don't know, I wanted to get it today, and yeah. But yeah, I mean, hopefully we'll get it today. If we don't get it today, truthfully, I'll come back. I'll probably come back tomorrow or the next day. But this is my first attempt on trying to get this chicken sandwich. I didn't even try the last time. My friend said that they had gotten them from here before this location, so I thought I would try it. But um, I know that they were selling out and all of that, so I just, I didn't want any of that mess. Here's an update. I guess I could have gone inside, but I kind of just didn't want to be like standing around waiting. Like I'd rather wait in the privacy of my car which i don't know which is actually a better idea it might be a better idea to go inside to be honest but i haven't seen a lot of people come out i can see it this is like waiting in line at an amusement park so this chicken sandwich better take my mouth on a ride i want it to be so good but i'm just not expecting it to be that crazy you know how internet hype is um for my side can i have the fries and then for the drink i'll just have a coke oh, um nope that's it all right, thank you so much. No so apparently there's two flavors. I was gonna get two sandwiches anyway, but I ended up just getting one of each and then I just got fries and a drink because I don't really know, but it looks like it's gonna be good. I'm excited. So now because I'm getting two different ones, I'm no longer sharing, sorry guys. If I knew one of my friends was home and they wanted to try it, I would get it for them, but um, everyone's away until tomorrow night, so sorry. So really not too bad. I just placed my order and it is 6.11. So I'll probably end up being in line for an hour to get the sandwich, which I know that people have been waiting longer than that before the first time around. All right, we got it. I'm gonna try it here with you guys. I brought it home just to eat it so I could show you guys and just, I don't know, to eat it in peace, but I actually do need to go back out like right after I finish this. So it's not gonna be a leisurely eating, but I did wanna show you and get my initial impressions on here. Here is the spicy one. It really just doesn't look like much. It tastes better than it looks, to be honest. There's like pickles on there and some kind of, I mean, look at how they gave it to me, dry as hell. There was a pickle on there. I would like it if there was more pickles. And this one is the original one. Again, they taste better than they look. It looks so plain. That's why I wasn't expecting to really think it was that crazy. And I wouldn't say it's that crazy, but it's good and it's not that expensive, so. Upon further eating, I would say that I actually prefer the spicy one over the original. However, both need more pickles. Maybe a little bit more sauce. All right guys, so it's almost eight o'clock. I haven't really been doing a ton of vlogging the last couple days because I've just been working. I was working on a contract that ended up taking me pretty much all day because um, there were just some things that I wanted changed or some things that had said they got changed but really it just got worded differently so I am super super careful when I sign any kind of contracts which any anyone should be I can tell by a lot of the contracts that I look at that probably they get away with this all the time with influencers um, just like not I'm not saying one brand in particular but just like brands in general and that's kind of their job you know whoever they hire to write these contracts you want to get as much as you can giving as little as possible and then of course you have to negotiate back and forth to kind of make things a little bit more fair I've been doing that kind of back and forth all day and I think that uh, it's it's taking a lot longer than what I had thought because I, 
it's I don't know it's kind of a whole long thing and I probably shouldn't really get into it anyway so that was like a big part of my day and just like the last couple weeks of you know contract negotiation I was having like a problem with my email and um, for some reason they were like not going through I, just like a whole bunch of stuff hopefully everything gets underway I honestly really really want to do this project because the product seems so good and I think it's if it works like it says that it's supposed to work, I think it's going to be so great and I think you guys are going to really, really like it. So I'm excited to try it and I just want to get it in my hand so I can try it and get going with it. But you have to protect yourself first. So, you know, you have to you have to look out for you and make sure that like everything is okay because you don't want to put in all this work and do all this stuff and then, you know, get screwed over. So that's basically what I've been doing there's always been a lot of projects that I've turned down and money that I've left on the table because I just don't agree with either the contract or what they're asking me or different things like that a lot of times the things that you worry about in a contract never really come to fruition you know like most of the time it goes smoothly and you don't have any kind of problems but there's always that chance that it could happen so you just have to be careful just like they're being careful by having you sign a contract so it's protection for both ends and it really deserves attention. I just am probably, I feel like, or I feel like companies in general sometimes will make me feel like I'm pickier than the average influencer because I don't know. I just like, I know how to read my contracts. I've been doing it for a long time. I've been doing it for 10 and a half years. And for a lot of that time I luckily had a um, an entertainment lawyer looking over my contracts all the time who I hired I mean I wasn't they weren't doing it for free <laughs> they were doing it for you know a good percentage of what I was making but you know having that experience of working so closely with an attorney for so long I really kind of know what to look out for in contracts and different different things um, not saying that I'm on that level but just for my specific fields I kind of know like what I want in there and what I don't want in there for my own like stuff so anyway I don't know if that's boring when I talk to you guys about business stuff I feel like so many people are always up in my business trying to figure out what I do for work or this or that like I've explained many times YouTube social media stuff is the only thing I've done for the last ten and a half years that has been my only source of income for the last ten and a half years everything is through myself I don't you know I don't have and never have had management getting me jobs or you know whatever any work that I've gotten has been brought in I would say like 99% from me not from really anyone else or maybe like 97% but most of it just comes from me different things that that I get and then I'll hire outside sourcing to do my contracts or to do this or that it's not just putting up vlogs it's not just putting up you know stuff like that because these videos that are not sponsored are really just like free videos that I do for fun for you guys I really don't make a ton of money on ads I never did even when my channel you know had more views I never could live off of what I made on ads it just wasn't the thing so like I have to do sponsored videos that is like a big part of the money the the ad revenue is just I mean, you guys know how it is, or most of you guys know how it is. Unless you're somebody that has millions of followers with millions of views, you're really not banking that crazy on ads, especially with how infrequently <laughs> I upload videos. I kind of like to be able to do whatever content I want to do and not worry about the money part of it and then do a sponsored video that I like to do that kind of allows me the freedom to do so many other free videos. You know what I mean? So I know that there's like kind of a stigma or like a bad feeling about sponsored videos, but I always feel like you guys know me well enough to know that I wouldn't pitch a product that I didn't believe in or didn't use or didn't like and I feel like after knowing me for this many years that you know hopefully you guys trust me enough that I wouldn't do anything like that but also I also need to get paid you know a lot of companies make money off of people saying that they like this product then you guys go out and buy it and they're profiting all the money and um, you know it's only fair that content creators be able to do sponsored videos because if they're selling product they should get a part of that and I know that like people that I know a lot of people don't see it that way but I think like after you think about it it makes a lot of sense so anyway of course that doesn't influence everything like I shout out the products that I want to shout out sometimes I get you know maybe something for it sometimes I don't and that's just kind of the way it is but I never will mention anything that I don't actually like or that I don't actually use I get a lot of stuff that 
you guys never hear about because either I don't like it or I don't use it or whatever. And also, you know, I mean, it goes, I just, I'm kind of somebody that likes to do just like what they want to do and doing sponsored videos allows me to do more of just what I want to do. So I'm able to have these kinds of videos and not have to worry about what can I title this so that I can clickbait people into watching my videos or how do I scam people for views or this or that like if I just do a couple sponsored videos and I'm straight and I can do all of the other videos without having to really care so much about views and things like that which I think is kind of nicer so hopefully you guys can agree and think of it that way as the sponsored videos kind of make everything even out where I can do these types of videos that you guys like so much the vlogs and different things like that where I'm kind of just living my life but I really don't make a ton of money off of those videos especially at the rate in which I put up the videos I really don't plus it also kind of feels good it feels nice to have a brand think that you're worth something because there's so many brands that are out there that think that oh I'll just send you free product and do a whole video for me and it doesn't work like that because you're gonna be making a ton of money off of me you know so I think it always feels good when a company offers you to collaborate and do a sponsored video or to do something like that I think it's really nice and like it's a good feeling so it's sad when you get excited to do something and excited about something for work and then like you put it up and people don't like it or they're mad just because it's sponsored but it doesn't change anything other than it evens the playing field so that you know everyone's winning kind of all the way around because most of the time those videos the sponsor videos they give you guys like a discount too and like I said it's up to you if you want to buy something or not buy something but I feel like I've built such a strong trust with my audience even though I don't have like the hugest audience you guys pretty much trust everything I like or you like a lot of the things that I like and you know that I'm picky as fuck so I don't just throw anything random out there that I don't think you guys would like it's pretty much you guys like what I like and I'm pretty picky so it takes kind of a lot for me to like something and I feel like a lot of you guys see that so I appreciate that so much I wish that more people or at some point just generally the public breaks the stigma on sponsored videos so that content creators don't have to feel like oh I know I'm gonna get backlash for this because it's you know you guys want it to be what we do but if we had a regular nine to five, we wouldn't, it's, it's so hard to do all the editing and do all the emails and do, cause there's a lot of back end stuff. There's a lot of me just like sitting doing emails and, and having to deal with all of that nonsense. But yeah, I mean, I know a lot of people are interested in that. Hopefully this isn't like a boring little chat with you guys. Sorry, I'm wearing the same jacket in like literally every clip in this video, but it's cold now. So it looks like I'm wearing the same thing. I just. I'm wearing the same jacket because this is a warm jacket. I don't know. It's my warmest jacket. So this is the Lululemon um, Cloudscape jacket that I bought last year. I bought two colors last year and then like one long one and I bought the olive green came back this year so I bought that one. So I've got three of these. I think they're so good. I'm going to show you this Target jacket that I posted that has become a phenomenon on my Instagram. I just, I, I don't know. I went to Target and I found this camo jacket that ended up ringing up for $25. Super cute, not warm at all. Like I had this one on when I tried that one on. I, I had this one on and I took it off and I put that one on and it felt like nothing. There was no warmth. So it's kind of just a fashion piece or like a, a cool weather piece, but for sure not like a winter piece. But a lot of people were liking it. I really didn't expect that many people to like it but everyone's been sending me messages and comments about how they ordered it too and honestly I think it's a really cute jacket for 25 bucks anyway so I'll show you guys that in this vlog I tried to vlog the reason why that was so much on Instagram is because I brought my vlogging camera but I forgot the memory card so I wasn't able to record anything and I didn't want to miss it so I just was doing it on Instagram, um, on my Instagram story, which sometimes I don't like to do because you only get to see it for 24 hours, but I will show it here and then also give you the skew and all that. So you guys, if anyone else wants to get it, they can. I think, like I said, it's cute for $25. The other thing that people were asking me just the last couple Instagram lives, these earrings, these are like the biggest hoops I've ever owned in my life now, but these are from Be Everly, which I will link for you in the info box below, but they are, I think, rhodium plated or something like that, but this is what they look like, and they have the coolest little earring back. 
this is the easy if you've got nails this is the easiest earring pack ever because it's just kind of this little disc and it slides on and there's kind of like a little like a rubbery piece inside that holds it but it's just super super easy I wish they sold these earring backs separately I plan on using these earring backs with pretty much every earring that I wear now it's just really easy I think because the earring bag itself is like bigger but it's it's not big like the ones with the plastic backing. It's more of just a easier thing for you to grab with your fingers and it slides on super easy. So I've been wearing these pretty much every day and I keep promising to put it on Instagram, but I haven't done it yet. But here it is here. I will link it for you down below. They sent me a bunch of jewelry actually, but these are the ones that I've been wearing just like all the time because they're just easy. They're easy to put on. They're lightweight. They don't bother me. The other earrings that I wear so much are the gold hoops that are smaller than this. Those are the Sheila Fajal, um, everyone's favorite hoops. I've had those for years and years and years. Really, really good. Um, I'll link those for you as well just because, I don't know, you guys always want to know. Those are the two main pairs of hoops that I've been wearing. I also bought that Chanel, those Chanel hoops, which I can't link those because I don't, they don't, it's hard to link Chanel stuff, but I um, I should have the skew and the tag and all of that in this video so all you have to do is kind of like pause it and screenshot it whatever you want to do write it down talk to your sales associate and you can find them that way um, other than that I've been talking for a really long time sorry but I'm about to go get something to eat I haven't eaten yet all day and I'm about to go get Shake Shack because I've been editing this video and in this video as you've seen already I tried the Popeye's chicken sandwich both the spicy and the original and basically my thoughts on that I think it's a really good chicken sandwich I'm not overly floored by it and I do think that there is a chicken sandwich that is better than the Popeye's chicken sandwich. So my thoughts on the Popeye's versus Chick-fil-A situation is I do think that the Popeye's chicken sandwich is better than the Chick-fil-A spicy chicken deluxe. That's the only one I've ever tried. I haven't gotten the plain Chick-fil-A sandwich because why? I don't know why I would. It looks, it looks plain, it looks dry to me. So I always get the spicy chicken deluxe and I really like that. I love Chick-fil-A, I love Chick-fil-A, but I do think that the Popeye's chicken sandwich is better because it tastes more real it doesn't taste quite as fast foodish and just I don't know it, it, it is better but I would say it's kind of like marginally better and the the level of better comes from it tasting less fast food like however I do think that there's a sandwich that is slept on that is greater than both of these chicken sandwiches which I'm about to get right now because I don't know I'm influenced by editing my own vlog about chicken sandwiches. So the sandwich that I think is better than all of those, which I'm going to show you in this vlog, is the Shake Shack Chicken Shack. It's like the better version of the Popeye's chicken sandwich. The Popeye's chicken sandwich is kind of like the cheaped out, you know, $2 version of the Shake Shack one, even though it's $3.99. So I went the other day and I filmed the thing and then the the camera, I don't know, there was like an error on the memory card and it didn't actually save the footage. But anyway, I had gotten it and it was, I think the chicken sandwich from Shake Shack is $6.09. So it's $2.10 more than the Popeye's one. But it's also like non-GMO and all that other stuff and like... For $2, I think that this is a far superior chicken sandwich. Even just just for, even if money wasn't a thing, this is a far superior. It's like double what the Popeyes one is. So like everything you liked about the Popeyes one, it's that times two. I would say the only thing that maybe, I don't know if people would like or not like, is that I think that the Shake Shack one is not as crispy, but it's solely for the fact that there's just more chicken. It's kind of like a bigger chunk of chicken, and so you don't get quite as much flaky crispiness. Like if you saw the footage of my Popeye's one, like towards the end, or like towards one side, it was only fried stuff. There was like no chicken anymore. I don't really know. I don't really know how that little chicken patty made it past quality control there was nothing you could see there was like a chunk and then it got it just went to like nothing so um that's a huge difference just i don't know you get more full on the shake shack one it's like a little bit bigger it's better it's got more pickles because <laughs> you know that's what i want it's got more pickles it's got more sauce it's not dry as hell it's got some lettuce on there as well 
which I don't know how people feel about that, but I love this sandwich. I'm getting it again. I think I had it. When did I try to film that? Yesterday, maybe? Or day before yesterday. I'm getting it again. It's delicious. I have some footage of me eating it, but I, was, I think I'm probably going to cut it out. It, the joy on my face from this chicken sandwich is almost disgusting. Like, why? Not only is it only $2 more, but you don't got to wait in a crazy line. And, you know, no one's going to attack you or worse over this chicken sandwich. So, overall thoughts on Popeye's chicken sandwich. I think if you can wait in line for an hour or less, go ahead and try it just for the hype of trying it, you know, so you can feel cool about it and say that you tried it. I'm here for that. I did that. But it's certainly not worth waiting in line over three hours for and all of that. If you have a Shake Shack near you, try the Chicken Shack. It's so good. Like, if I threw a birthday party, I would want them to cater the birthday party with just that. I actually don't like their burgers. I only like their chicken sandwich. I know not everyone has a Shake Shack near them. I don't think that there was one when I was living in LA. Um, I think Santa Monica, did Santa Monica get one? Something like that. I knew there was like, I thought there was one that opened up, but I think it's an East Coast chain or whatever. So I don't know if they're everywhere. I know that we have them here in Texas and I know a bunch of like other states have them too because every time I post about it, people are always like, oh, I love Shake Shack. This whole vlog is about me analyzing chicken sandwiches. It's kind of ridiculous. I'm so sorry, but that's been my life lately. It's been editing vlogs, doing emails, spending time with the dogs and evaluating chicken sandwiches, evaluating fast food chicken sandwiches. Like this is my life right now, <laughs> this week, this week and the last two weeks or whatever, I don't know, that's, that's my life. But I better get going because I wanna get there before, I mean, how sad will I be that I didn't get my chicken sandwich because they closed because I was too busy talking about the chicken sandwich in a vlog. So anyway, I'm gonna get going. I wanted to show you this little pouch that I'm using today though. This is the YSL Vicky pouch. I ended up getting rid of my bill pouch, not because I didn't love the aesthetic of it, but I just had had it for so long and I didn't ever use it. Like I didn't even take the tag off. Ended up getting rid of that one because I was kind of a, I don't know if I was like afraid to use it or if there was something. I thought about maybe getting the bigger one now with the wrist strap thing, but I, I just haven't decided. So I did get this one because when I saw it in store, I loved that my phone fit in here with ease like the phone fits in the other one too the phone does fit in the medium bill pouch or larger but this one is just like a little bit bigger the edges are rounded so I don't worry so much about them getting worn down because I don't think they will it's kind of like this crumpled calf skin which I, I'm not in love with and I don't like that this is like black on black because now there's no flash to it but I thought this was gonna be a really functional pouch just because it did hold my phone in the front and I thought like oh great for running errands even though there's no strap but now I don't know if I like it because I have learned that I actually cannot put my keys and a lip gloss in here and my phone in the front it makes it like this is a pouch that's meant to be flat all the time only. So you might be seeing this on my Lux sales. I bought it from Nordstrom though, so I guess I technically could return it, but I don't know. So anyway, what I have in here right now is a lip gloss, oil absorbing sheets, and my car key. And that's really kind of all I can put into it. I can put other flat things in here. It's just like, it has a hard time with three-dimensional items, which I'm having a hard time with because, like, bitch, I bought you for this reason and you're not fucking doing it. So, anyway, Vicky and I are having a fight. Well, I did want to show it to you just because, I don't know, I like to talk to you guys about stuff. I am going to do, like, a haul and show you all of the things that I bought myself for my birthday. Um hopefully soon I just truthfully I'm waiting on one thing you guys saw it I think in this vlog or maybe you haven't seen it yet I don't know where I put it but I had bought one last thing and it came with like a little nick in it so the place that I bought it from does not do exchanges so I actually have to return it and rebuy it so I don't know I haven't dealt with that yet I've returned it but I haven't gotten credited back yet and and I bought it with a promo code, so the promo code is no longer going on. So I have to purchase it at full price, then they will retroactively credit back part of it. It's just, like, the whole thing is, I'm almost wondering if it's too much trouble. Like, is it more trouble than it's worth? Kind of, but I know me, and I'll probably be like, mm, but it, I wish I got it then, do, 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 do. like, I'll be annoying about it later, so I might as well just get it now. So, anyway. Now I'm gonna go and get the chicken sandwich and show you guys. I, it's just so good. It's so good, you have to try it. And like I said, I don't really recommend the burgers. 
and the reason why if you don't care about this you might be fine with it but I actually am very picky about meat texture I don't really like weird textures in meat it grosses me out like meat I don't like just in general I made shepherd's pie the other day which came out really good but you should have seen me trying to deal with this hamburger it was just like I had a I didn't have any gloves in the house so I had like a plastic like a ziplock because also I've got nails so I had the ziplock in here so I don't got to touch the meat and it just like I can't I hate raw meat it's just disgusting to me so anyway needless to say it did come out good but it was just like I made a whole casserole dish of it and I just couldn't eat the whole thing myself so I had to you know give away some of the leftovers and all that and I don't really like eating leftovers that's kind of like a bad thing about me is that basically it's weird because I can eat the same thing multiple days in a row but I don't like to keep reheating things which if you've got leftovers you have to reheat them some things don't are not as good like shepherd's pie is normally better the next day anyway so I didn't mind but I mean I would have had to be eating shepherd's pie for like four or five days I would have been meal prepping <laughs> shepherd's pie if I ate the whole thing by myself so anyway I didn't film it because shepherd's pie looks ugly and I didn't want pe because I don't normally cook on here I didn't want people to be like oh it looks like this and that but I do have screen shots from my parents both saying that my shepherd's pie looked better than their shepherd's pie and I was able to keep mine from getting like too soupy for some reason my mom's gets like soupy on top for the first day and then then it's great after but I was very diligent in trying to make that not happen so I would say it was a success but I just it's too much food it's hard to cook I don't how do you know what is my camera just cut out on me it told me I had to go so <laughs> just Google pictures of shepherd's pie like it doesn't look good it looks like I guess like no casserole is really pretty looking and so I don't know mine was pretty together though it wasn't all sloppy like when my mom makes it it kind of like I don't know it gets it's just kind of all over the place but then the next day it's so good you know once it's had a second to rest for a bit that's the other thing too is I, I did let mine rest for a little while before I cut into it because I just didn't want it to be falling apart everywhere but yeah I mean pretty much the only thing you can see on top is the mashed potatoes so anyway that's that like I said gonna get going I don't know why I'm so chatty today you know what I think I think it's because I stayed in the house all day and just was working so much and then I called my mom and just I haven't had a lot of human interaction today so now I'm just like letting it all out on you guys <laughs> I talked to a couple people on direct message and one of my friends on there but I haven't actually been face to face with any people yet today so I think that's why sometimes that happens to me in real life too if I haven't seen anyone in a long time if I've been either just in the house working or doing whatever I'm doing I'll just be like da, 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 forever and I didn't get great sleep last night so I'm probably overtired I always talk a lot when I'm overtired All right, let's go. I'm gonna go. I've been here for like half an hour talking to you guys, so that's, I don't know what's wrong with me. So there's that. You can see it's not dry. It's got the sauce on there, pickles, some lettuce. The lettuce today is different than it was the other day, but really, really good. Normally it's kind of like a shredded lettuce. I don't really know what's happening here, but my mouth is literally watering. Come here so you can say goodbye in the vlog. Oh, you hear little feet prancing. Anyway, so I think I'm going to end the vlog here because it's already way too long. I know you guys like long vlogs. It's really not me, but YouTube gives me a hard time anytime I try to upload anything over than 30 minutes. Excuse me. You don't need to push me. I will... Did you see her? Nudge me like that. She does that. She wants me to pet her and she just like, watch, she'll do... I might do it again. See? Look at her. Anyway, <laughs> I just wanted to come on here and say bye and also give you kind of a little bit of an explanation with this vlog. So I ended up having to cut myself off and I know that a lot of you guys like the long vlogs. You want to hear everything I have to say. You want to see me eating. I'm going to put all of that footage on Patreon as like an extension of this vlog because this vlog right now is already going to be at like 40 something minutes and YouTube really doesn't like it when I upload anything longer than 30 minutes. It will give me a hard time so I really couldn't put the whole thing in there and believe it or not the me sitting in the car footage goes on for about another 15 minutes because I started talking about a nightmare I was having and my mom had the same nightmare and then we start talking about the moon I mean just like I was talking so much and then as far as like the eating footage 
Um, I just was so anxious to eat the Popeyes sandwich that the angle is horrible and the lighting is horrible. My, my memory card was having just like a week this week and so a lot of my footage either didn't save or was, I don't know, the lighting never, you know how normally like the white balance will adjust out on its own, it never did and like some, some things would stay dark. So I'm not 100% happy with the footage but I know you guys will still wanna see it so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on Patreon for you. And I don't know how that vlog is gonna make sense, but it's probably gonna be about 30 minutes in itself because I'll put all the extra footage in there just so we don't waste it. Because I know you guys wanna see it and you know, I did film it, but I'm just not happy with it enough to put it on my YouTube channel and I couldn't fit everything together. So I sacrificed, I would say a couple days of vlogging of footage that I wasn't really super thrilled with anyway, just so that I could talk to you a little bit longer in that you know, car vlog. So anyway, I want to show you the dogs too so they can say bye, but like what, I mean, they're just all doing their own thing and Evie's wanting attention. Why are you doing this? I don't like when you make this face with the ears. Why are you doing that? I hate it when she makes this face. You look like you're wearing like a Roman helmet or something. Put your ears forward. But yeah, she's actually been very lovey to me, which normally she likes to do her own thing, but she's been extremely cuddly. I'm not sure why. I don't know why you're making this face though. And Toshi's just over here having a time. You're just over here having a time. Can you say bye to them and I'll give it back to you? No? Okay, go ahead, take it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will be vlogging again tomorrow. I'll leave all of the links to everything that I mentioned down below. Hope you guys have a great night and I will talk to you very soon. Bye. Say bye, give them a kiss. Can we kiss?